Hey guys, what is going on? Tucker here, and today I'm bringing you four ways to make money in free to play. Um, a lot of my friends have been requesting this, so here it is. Um, but I will not be covering the best free to play money making methods, um, which are mining runite ore and super heating runite ore for around 1.2 mil an hour. These methods that I'll be showing you have lower requirements, and I think it better suits you guys, judging by the people that are in my friend's chat. On to the first on the list is uh, mining. Mining is a really good way to make money, and there are lots of profitable ores. Um, until you hit about 65 mining, iron ore is the best way for money making. Um, iron ore has risen a ton and is around 300 GP a piece. And in an hour of mining, you can make easily you can easily make 200k with the competition and if there, you are a bit AFK but if there's nobody on your world and you're not AFK you can make over 300k an hour um, plus 30k mining experience an hour which is pretty good once you get 65 mining you can continue mining iron or mine coal mithril gold it's all good money um, at level 70 mining you can mine adamant then world hop and um, make a lot of money doing it that way and that's around 350k profit per hour Finally, at 85 mining, you can mine rune. A uh, rune ore costs over 10k a piece, and if mined in the wildy or in the resource dungeon, you can make over a mil an hour, like I said earlier. On to method two. Method two is woodcutting. Chopping oak logs outside or even in the Grand Exchange can make over 200k an hour. Right now, logs are over 210 GP um, each, so they're good money for sure. Also, cutting down oak logs makes a lot of profit. Um, each oak log right now is over 100 GP, so if you wish to make money from doing that, um, without you know running around the GE uh, maybe even a little bit more AFK this is very good money too somewhere around 200k an hour finally the obvious method of chopping use use are currently over 600 GP each unless they have recently changed and I'm pretty sure they haven't changed in the last hour your profit depends on your level for this so if you're 60 wood cutting you're definitely not gonna make as much money as someone who has 99 wood cutting and that's pretty obvious as well third money making method is a lesser known way of making money but a very good one and that is picking up limport roots from the hill giants in the resource dungeon you will need a level tw you'll need level 20 dungeoneering for this um, but that's just to gain entrance into the resource dungeon and you can do this with around 60 combat level but i recommend 129 because that's when the hill giants stop being aggressive and that makes for better profit and less anger that's for sure because the worst thing ever is trying to make money while things are attacking you you're going to want to go where I go and pick up these things but they're not hard to spot because they're gonna be a red dot on your mini map so just click there um, they have a 56 second respawn timer so if you don't want to wait then you can hop worlds and gather more um, you can also kill the hill giants for about a one in three chance drop from them this method will make you about 350 K per hour but with the world hopping you may make up to 700 K depending on how good your internet connection is and finally, this is arguably one of the best ways to make money in free to play, and that is high alking. High alking can make you anywhere from 250k to 1 mil per hour, depending on the prices in the Grand Exchange. Um, there's also a website that will tell you how much you will make per alk, and I will have that in the description for you. On this site, you can type in the amount of profit you would like to make per alk, per alk and it will show you the options that you have. You can also tick the little free to play box over here on the left, and it will show you only the free to play items. Um, 55 mage is required for high alk, um, which shouldn't take you too long to get, and also um, a little bit of money for the nature runes. But if you don't have enough money for the nature runes, then you can just do any of the previous methods in this video until you do have around 100k for nat runes. And then once you do have enough money for the nature runes, you can still do this while you're waiting on the limport roots and the spawn and the spawns in the uh, hill giants resource dungeon for maximum profit. Um, but that's it for me. If you guys like this video and want more, make sure to smack that like and subscribe button. Well, I mean, maybe not smack it, but I don't know. Do something with it, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Take it easy, guys.